Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Swift Pilot Client. We will be talking about installing and setting up Swift with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. As usual, we start on the Swift documentation homepage. You can find the link right below this video in the description. And when you are there, just go here to the download and install section and then download Swift and you will find here another link that will take you to our GitHub page. That's where you will always find the latest release of uh, Swift. As you can see here in the table of uh, compatibility, Microsoft Flight Simulator is now compatible with Swift 64-bit. This is our GitHub page and as you can see the latest um, alpha version of Swift at the time of this video is 09838 and I would uh, recommend using this version absolutely. Uh, the alpha versions of Swift they are really reliable, they are stable, there's nothing risky about them so go ahead and use them. For Microsoft Flight Simulator we can use here the 64-bit version so download this um, program file and you will be here. So I got the program here. I start it as administrator to make sure all components are installed properly. Windows is something doing strange things. And there we go. Next we accept agreement. Here make sure you select, you see now we have Flight Sim 2020 available and X-Plane. I'm using as well X-Plane so I will select both simulators. Um, the drivers. That's very important to select it here as well. Otherwise you will not have the correct drive installed. And uh, then check the installation directory. For me that's fine. That's my usual standard directory for Swift and here 09864 bit is as well cool. So we go to next and next and now it's installing the application and all of its components. We're done now. Swift Launcher is started and then automatically you see the Swift configuration wizard. Um, yes, we have to agree with the license and privacy policy. You can, but you don't have to enable sending crash reports. I do it, of course. Go next. The table here. Yeah, nice to see. Nothing to do here, so just go next. On this page, very important, um, you can copy model sets from previous versions of Swift. Since I want to um, create a fresh model set for Microsoft Flight Simulator, I will not copy anything. We start from scratch in this respect. On the next page, you can copy settings and caches from previous Swift versions. And I would like to do that because I don't want to have to um, reprogram all my push to talk keys etc. So we just select all here from this version of Swift and then we copy that. And that's the status message, that's fine. And we go to next. Now don't get discouraged that you don't see Microsoft Flight Sim 220 up here. As long as you select FSX and you see the correct paths here everything is all right. Um, in case that this is not set yet for you, make sure here you browse to the correct um, drive and um, sim directory. So in my case it's K and then MSFS2020. That's it. And here you have to define the model directories. You need to insert the community directory under MSFS 2020 and the official directory. And when you're done with that, make sure you save your settings. That's it. And then you go to the next page. And yeah, we could now create a quick and dirty model set here, but we will not do it here now. Just follow my instructions. It's going to be much better doing it this way. So go next. Nothing to do here because this is for X-Plane. We're using Microsoft Flight Sim. If you haven't done so yet, you need to add some um, key bindings here. Your hotkeys, at least you need to add a hotkey for your push to talk. And when you're done with that, then you can push finish to end this part of the installation. 
Okay, you can now um, close the setup file here, finish, but keep the Swift launcher program open. Before you continue, make sure that you have um, some kind of models installed in your My MSFS 2020 community directory. So in our case, I have installed the AIG um, model sets. That's quite a few aircraft. And um, as you can see, that's a lot of stuff. And this should get you started very well. So with this set, go back to your Swift launcher and start the mapping tool, the green icon. Go to the mapping tool. We start this program and we best maximize it. It's easier to use. And before you do anything here, go to the bottom and go to your settings and login section. And just check that again here, FSX is selected and that all the directories are correct. So this is identical to what you have done already during the setup, the installation of, um, of Swift in the wizard. But just be sure it's all correct here. And as well, you can, you can load here all the distributors that we know about um, Microsoft Fetzum. That's quite a lot, but um, do it like this and then save it. Now you can go back to the mapping editor. Uh, make sure that the correct category is set here. So for us, we have to use FSX to set up a model set for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Then first select the stored own models tab. Uh, these are the aircraft that Swift is able to find on your computer in your Microsoft Flight Simulator directory as defined in the settings and loading page. So we want to read this again. So just cross, uh, just push here on force reload FSX and select OK. And now we have to wait a few seconds for the computer to do its thing. When the loading process is finished, you will see this um, message window. And we are lucky in my case, there are no error messages. And at the bottom, you can either click OK or cancel to see detailed messages. We can we click cancel. We don't want to see them now. All right, now you have a lot of um, aircraft that you can see here that Swift was able to find in my Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 directory, but not all of them can be used in an active model set. To create one, just change to the active model set tab and click on a new set. A new window will open and uh, let's check all of the settings line by line from top to bottom. So simulator, FSX, yeah, that's the correct one to be used for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Mode, yeah, full, we want to create a new, full a new set. Then we want to use database data only. And distributors, for this time we're going to use all distributors. And then just click on OK. After a few seconds. Voila, there is our new model set. Before you do anything else, save it. Save FSX here on the bottom right. And model set is saved. Before we do anything else now, go to the settings and login tab again on the bottom here. And in the distributor preferences dialog, this time click on all in set. And now you see at the moment, I only have aircraft and models that have been made by these uh, five different distributors. And you can as well shift the priorities up and down. So why don't we want to have the AIG first on the, on the top here, category zero. Or, and, um, and the rest can style like this for a, time, for a time being. When you now click on save, you save these settings and at the same time, going back to the mapping editor and the active model set as well, the distributor number has been as well assigned to all these models. So if you sort the list by distributor number, you see here, these are all the AIG aircraft that are on top now. But this is basically, we can save the model set and you are set 
with the models. Next is now to start Microsoft Flight Simulator and then the Swift GUI to check out if the connection will work or not. We are now in our Microsoft Flight Simulator cockpit. Start Swift GUI. Check the version 0.9.8.38. Check that GUI is connected to our simulator and oh no it's not. You see the LED is off next to the simulator text and saying simulator disconnected. What could it be? Click on the settings widget and then select simulator option. And as you can observe, Flight Simulator 2020 had not been activated. Just click on it to set a check mark and then check again. Everything went well. We are now connected. The LED is on. And we can try to connect to VATSIM to see if we can observe other aircraft. Go to the connect widget. For this purpose, we better select the observer mode so nobody else can see us and we don't uh, uh, wreak any havoc on the airport. And we connect to the network. We can monitor the progress, select the models widget and all the aircraft that are within our range will be listed and after a few seconds they will show up with green check marks when they get actually rendered on this in the scenery here in the simulator. Let's have a look. Yeah yeah this Airbus just was rendered. That's an Aeroflot Airbus 320. It's this guy here. We're waiting for this Austrian Airlines aircraft. There he is. And the Eurowings should be this aircraft. So I think we are set. Basically, you can go flying now. Make sure all your settings are correct. And um, enjoy uh, Swift and Watson.